Well, good afternoon. It's a deal for Zal Hay Market Analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets at end of day's trading session, Tuesday, the 4th of April, 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. In terms of uh, market numbers for the close, let's have a look here, folks. European session overall in the green. Okay, certainly seems to have followed the uh, Chinese markets as opposed to Nikkei overnight, which was down almost a percentage point. You have the FTSE up at 0.5%, the DAX up 0.2%, the French CAC up 0.3%. It certainly seems like um, Le Pen concerns, political concerns ignored. Terror concerns in Russia certainly seems to be ignored. Trump trade failure certainly seems to be ignored, although we do have the uh, potential health care bill now back in the uh, spotlight and in the pipeline as well. So let's see exactly how that unfolds, okay, in terms of the market. Now, the market certainly seems to be buying it. Initially, I was long in the morning, uh, expecting the healthcare bill. Initially, I was actually short, sorry. I then covered my shorts in the morning, given given the fact that we had news regarding the healthcare bill, and I thought that would uh, certainly trigger a, sh a short squeeze rally, and that didn't actually occur. Um, okay, so um, again, now my bias has switched to the negative side, okay? So we interesting to see how the market unfolds now in terms of economic data uh, today let's just quickly go over that uk pmi data certainly on the weaker side uh, sorry not pmi construction data certainly on the weaker side we have gibraltar concerns brexit uncertainty as well talk of uh, a potential no, uh, and a no deal okay being the uh, the actual uh, optimal choice so that'd be interesting to see how the markets obviously react. You have sterling certainly falling, so therefore helping the FTSE to a large extent. Uh, European retail sales certainly coming stronger than expected. Again, in increasing pressure for the euro or the ECB certainly to turn hawkish and taper. So again, certain comments with regards to tapering certainly have weighing on the market themselves as well. Uh, Canadian exports and imports certainly dropping. Their trade balance certainly at a four-month low. That certainly isn't good news going forward in terms of growth. Okay, so bear that in mind. Uh, U.S. auto sales and construction data certainly weaker left yesterday, so that was certainly weighing on the market itself. Uh, you had Toshiba down 10% overnight, so again, weighing on tech sector there. IMF indicating living standards are apparently going to drop again. Concerns there. Trump with his uh, comments regarding North Korea, again, geopolitical tension there. Okay, so Banco Popular yesterday, Fed Harker Hawkish. So there was a lot of uh, arguments for the uh, downside in terms of the markets, and especially given the fact that you had the healthcare bill. Uh, apparently, uh, the comments regarding the health care bill certainly negative as well, uh, arguing Mr. Ryan stating that nothing will concrete will be coming out uh, in the next I don't know, an hour, two hours, a day or so. If I can recollect now in terms of the comments, I, I can't seem to find them now, unfortunately. So again, certainly playing down the, uh, the, 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 the possibility of the deal being ironed out today. OK, now in terms of the market, let's go over to the technical picture now, German DAX. Uh, should we start off with the daily chart? Well, the weekly chart, we already know, folks, is a double top. Okay, so German DAX with it being a double top. Until we take out that double top, I'm going to maintain a bearish bias in European equities and global equities. Okay, because the German DAX really is your leader. Okay, global leader. Until we do, we take out that double top, which is around 12,380, my bias will maintain and, and, and uh, on the bearish side. So bear that in mind. Okay. Unless we get to some, uh, obviously, but our news regards to a bullish news, certainly pushing it higher, for example, uh, the talk of the healthcare bill being passed, etc. Hence the reason why I, I switched my bias in the morning. I covered my shorts. And now you can see the European markets certainly are at loft, such lofty heights. OK, OK, so daily chart of the German DAX still an inside bar, that bearish engulfing candle until it's taken out. My bias remains bearish Monday, the 3rd of April, bearish engulfing. 60 minute chart at the moment, really, from my perspective, it looks more of a H&S formation top. Uh, okay, even if we call it higher highs and higher lows, and you're looking for a lower high. So, from my perspective, what I would be looking at is a pivot high to pivot low. This uh, right shoulder remaining below Fib 75%, which is uh, uh, 12,330. Provided we remain below 12,330, bias remains bearish, and we will move lower and look to close the gap at 12,150. If you look to close the gap at 12,150, then you are looking at European equities all flushing lower as well. On the upside, if you hit 12,330, previous support equals resistance on the German DAX, and therefore you are looking at weakness. So bear that in mind. Okay, so the German DAX 10 minute chart, watch out for that resistance at 12,330, folks. Okay, in terms of the market going into tomorrow. The French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC now. Daily chart, the French CAC, you have an inside bar looking for a bear flag rising contracting wedge pattern looking to potentially test the lower end of that spectrum so uh, let's certainly uh, 
expect that folks especially given the fact that the buns is important this is a very important relationship with regards to the buns let's just quickly bring up the buns hopefully i've got the euro bund here come on oh what a shame okay one second I'm surprised i don't have that let's double check again hmm, very surprised okay bear with me one second folks okay There we go. Okie dokie, right? So I'll go to the daily chart. Okay, so important is so the bond is certainly into potential gap fill resistance, horizontal resistance, okay? Uh, diagonal trend line resistance as well. Uh, if the bond is into resistance, then you, what you'll uh, notice, folks, is that the uh, the the yield, well, bonds fill, fall, yields rise, yields rise. Obviously, the uh, ECB is already turning hawkish, and therefore you are looking at a stronger euro. So bear that in mind. Very, very important to, uh, to understand that aspect. So with buns into resistance, that generally means that you are looking at a potential equity market top as well. Buns and equities generally uh, move in tandem. So uh, the French CAC 60-minute uh, chart, you have H&S formation. It's no coincidence. OK, looking for that right shoulder to hold and therefore looking for a flush, especially given the Le Pen concerns certainly have been uh, ignored and have not been discounted into the market whatsoever. So bear that in mind. Now, 10-minute chart does have support at 5075. So watch out for that. You have support below at 5070, then 5060. So you are looking for weakness below, OK, on the French CAC. Uh, in terms of gap fill, there is a gap fill below at 5030, and that certainly will come into play. Looking, moving on to the FTSE 100 now, folks. Again, this is a trade that I'm short, currently active short in the FTSE at present. So I'll certainly declare my bias in advance. A rising contracting wedge pattern. We've broken out. We've uh, certainly broken out of that rising contracting wedge, therefore looking to move lower. Daily chart at the moment, you still have a H&S formation target 7085. The day, the today's uh, price action really was within the red candle, so it's an inside bar, therefore bias remains bearish. And therefore looking for weakness now you have concerns with regards to gibraltar you have two back-to-back -back days a weaker pmi data today the construction numbers certainly came out weaker as well you have lower lows and lower highs your right shoulder is holding that fib 61 percent therefore looking for weakness below 10 minute chart you have resistance at 7324 if you break above that you have 7330 so two key levels with the 200 ma resistance as well if the market breaks above that then you are looking at 7350 so again uh, bias certainly remains bearish at this juncture from my interpretation okay in terms of euro stocks let's move on to the euro stocks now certainly bounced from that pivot low weekly chart holding resistance therefore looking for risk aversion until we take out 3500 bias remains bearish folks okay daily chart are present you have higher highs and higher lows yes we need to respect that okay but from my understanding ever since we we posted that bearish engulfing candle we're consolidating and we're looking to break this key diagonal trend line okay uh, 60 minute chart are present you are looking at hns formation classical hns for my understanding, remember the bonds are into resistance, therefore yields are going to rise, euro is going to rise, euro rises, exports get hit, hawkish ECB talking about potential tapering, you reduce the asset purchases, you reduce the support, and you are going to get hammered on the downside. That's my understanding, okay? Uh, in terms of technical analysis and into market analysis and fundamentals as well. So looking for this right shoulder to hold, folks, looking to short this right shoulder, looking for right shoulder to, to flush lower. Uh, first support level is seen at 3,450. Then you're looking at support at 3,430. And you're looking at support at 3,410, OK, uh, in terms of the movement on the downside. OK, I think that's a good summation of European equities. Um, conclusion really is risk aversion looking for the euro to spike and therefore looking for European equities to be hurt. Along with that, you have the sterling as well, GBP USD building a base, looking for that to bounce as well. And obviously you are looking at the inverse relationship between equities and currencies, given the currency wars, currency wars globally. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and certainly visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.